Did you know that your Ford vehicle may have a feature that can automatically help you keep your distance from the vehicle ahead of you while in cruise control? It functions like normal cruise control, with one exception. Let me explain. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go keeps a constant speed without having to use the accelerator and brake pedal, but it also automatically maintains a comfortable preset distance from the vehicle in front of you and can bring the vehicle to a complete stop if needed in heavy traffic. To set a cruising speed, use the cruise control switch on your steering wheel. Press on, accelerate to your desired speed, and press set, then take your foot off the accelerator. To adjust the gap setting, press the up and down arrows on your steering wheel control switch. Pressing it up decreases your follow distance setting and allows your car to follow at a closer distance and pressing it down increases your follow distance setting and expands the distance between you and a car in front of you. In fact, there are four different gaps that you can choose from. One bar, two bars, three bars, or four, and gives you the longest gap. Each one represents a different driving style and will affect how quickly your vehicle responds to changes in traffic. The information display will now show a green indicator light, the current gap setting, and your desired set speed and a vehicle graphic will illuminate if adaptive cruise control detects a vehicle in front of you. Still with me? Great! Once adaptive cruise is on, it uses radar and camera technology to constantly scan for slower vehicles in front of you and automatically adjust your speed to maintain the gap. You may notice that on occasion, you go slower than you initially set your cruise for. That's the system adjusting the speed. Once traffic speeds up, you'll return to the speed you set. The stop and go feature comes in handy while driving on the highway in heavy traffic conditions. If the vehicle ahead of you comes to a stop, your vehicle will also follow down to a stop. Once the lead vehicle begins moving within a short period of about three seconds, your car will automatically begin to follow. If it takes longer to move, you can press the resume button on your steering wheel or tap the accelerator pedal to start following the lead vehicle again. To switch between adaptive cruise control or normal cruise, Use the five-way switch on your steering wheel and the information display. Select Driver Assist, Cruise Control, then select Adaptive to enable, or Normal for a conventional cruise control system, meaning it will not automatically adjust speed based on the speed of the vehicle in front of you. Keep in mind, you can cancel Adaptive Cruise Control once set any time by braking or pressing the Cancel button on the steering wheel, which will cancel the Adaptive Cruise Control and allow you to gain manual control of your vehicle. Pressing the Resume button will return the vehicle to the previously set speed and gap setting. Any questions? Go to owner.ford.com.